Welcome everyone to this section of the course on NumPy. The first Python data science library we will be learning about is NumPy. What's really interesting about NumPy is that pretty much almost every data science library we learn about in this course, whether it's scikit-learn or pandas or seaborn, it's actually all built off the base of NumPy. Let's go ahead and explore what this section will be covering, our goals, and why it's important to actually learn about NumPy. The section goals are to first understand what NumPy is. Then, we'll go ahead and show you how you can create arrays with NumPy through a variety of methods. Then we'll show you how to retrieve that information from the NumPy array through slicing and indexing. And then finally, we'll learn about some basic NumPy operations, such as universal functions. Once we learn about all this, we'll test your new NumPy skills with exercise questions. And then we'll also go over the solutions. So what is NumPy? Put simply, NumPy is a Python library for creating n-dimensional arrays. n-dimensional arrays means that NumPy arrays can be structured from 1D to 2-dimensional to 3D to 4D, etc. Now in this course, we're typically just dealing with either a 1-dimensional vector or a 2-dimensional array of data, but NumPy is expandable to n number of dimensions. What's really important about NumPy is its ability to quickly broadcast functions. And it also has a ton of built-in features for us, including things like linear algebra, statistical distributions, trigonometric functions, and random number capabilities. So why would you use NumPy? While NumPy structures at first look very similar to standard Python lists, they're actually much more efficient than just a Python list or even a nested Python list. And what's key to all of this is the broadcasting capabilities are also extremely useful for quickly applying functions to an entire data set very quickly. Let's go ahead and get started by first talking about how we can create arrays with NumPy. I'll see you at the next lecture.